Hey everyone, this is my reaction to the seventh episode of Ichizoku Reviewers, the anime specifically made for men of culture. And last episode, we got to actually go to a place that lets you construct your own waifu. Why did it take till episode six to discover such a thing? I don't know, because you'd think that would be the number one spot we go to. But alas, we we got to it when we got to it. And it was pretty great. Madri just assumed we would have a horrible time, but she was wrong. We had a wonderful time. Partly because of her. Although when she discovered the role she had to play in that, she wasn't the biggest fan. It, it kind of seems... Could you imagine that, though? Just, like, having an exact replica of someone, having your way with them for a while, and then just meeting the real one at work the next day? Eye contact would probably be, would probably be rough. Just so I'm saying. But that was fun. Oh, in the second half, something happened as well, but I don't remember what it was. I think there was too much blinding light to be sure what happened. But, you know, the, the ratings weren't great, so... It is what it is. This episode, though... I, I couldn't tell you what's going to happen, so I just want to find out. Let's get into it. Three, two, one, play. And we are rolling. So what will we do today? Yeah, I bet you are. <laughs> uh. Madri's working hard, as she does. Oh, uh, are you, are you okay there, Madri? Uh, uh, oh, are you, are you, are you gonna have an egg? I do think I kind of remember that from a, from a preview title, now that I think about it. Because I watch Monster Musume, I have a rough idea of what to expect. I should rewatch Monster Musume one of these days. Uh, friggin' stunk. Yeah, I wonder what she's going out there to do. We should probably investigate. Oh, jeez. Whew, I like, I like it so far. I could just imagine myself behind her, you know? Hands on the hips. But yeah, I think that's what it is. I think one of the preview titles is something about an egg, so... Here we, go. Here we go with that. After the opening, of course. But if it wasn't for the egg thing, yeah. Typing to go poop would be my first guess as well. New paradise. And there is plenty of paradise to be had in this world. You know, and a bit of the opposite. What is the opposite of paradise? I'm not sure. Funimation, maybe. Because that's clearly a no final how it plays, you know. Whew, there are some, continue to be just so many wonderful visuals in this opening. Whew. You know, considering Majri doesn't go with us to any of these establishments, she does a pretty good job of continuing to be fairly relevant to the story. Uh, I guess it's the benefit of working at the place that we always hang out, get a drink. And yes, we, we continue. This is a gift, all right. I will unwrap it immediately. No need for a receipt here. We probably should do that. She probably needs her help. I would love to interrupt, actually. <laughs> I, I don't need you to tell me. I'd rather see it myself. You probably could phrase it better as well. <laughs> yeah, that doesn't surprise me somehow. <laughs> I know, right? Let's, let's get up there. There's probably a peeping hole or something. <laughs> Yeah, you can just consider it payback for all the time she beats us up. They have those? Yeah, exactly, that was exactly what I was thinking. Was this a good opportunity, has any? Ah, uh, Krim, you always give us that look, but you, you have fun. You just, you'll admit it someday. 
You enjoy your adventures with these gentlemen? Come see Egg Lane Showgirls in the Raw. We always go with someone extra, don't we? Jeez. Uh, hello. It's Poppy here. She's the one I'm mostly interested in. I'll pay extra. Those eyes just... terrify me. It's a steal. Do we get to keep the egg? Yeah, she's cute. Yeah, I mean, you guess, I guess you couldn't. <laughs> you just camp out here for a week, <laughs> waiting for an egg to come out. That's amazing. As always, I love the creativity in this show. Oh, please stop doing that. I will stay here as long as I need to. I got nothing better to do. <laughs> uh, that would be something, huh? <laughs> I, I really don't. I eat eggs for breakfast literally every day. Wow. <laughs> oh, God. <coughs> Good points. <laughs> what do you say to that? <laughs> <laughs> uh, yeah, I didn't think you had a response. Yeah, it seems fair to me. I don't, I don't see the problem, Krim. Let's go. <laughs> Get wrecked, Krim. Now let's head in. And please stop turning your head. What did I just say? But I will. <laughs> okay, it's like a dolphin show kind of arena. A lot of tails. Yeah, but to say, I guess Lamia's really do like getting the eggs. Are there? I didn't see them until now. Yep. I'm, I'm sure I know where the entrance is. Oh, that's what you meant. It, never mind. <laughs> it does look like fun, though, that one as well. Okay, that's good to know. <laughs> they want some of that egg. Everyone wants some of that egg. I'm sure there'd be a black market for it. Uh, we got we got to get a egg somehow. Maybe Majory we could be convinced. Okay, that's something at least. How do you talk with your tongue sticking out constantly? Oh. <laughs> wow. Okay, that's that's nice for them. <laughs> yes, it's exactly like that. <laughs> uh, you worry too much, Krim. Just accept the de degeneracy and you'll enjoy life more. I'm ready. Oh, wow. <laughs> wow. That is impressive. The light's kind of blinding, but that is impressive. 10 out of 10. Already glad we came. Oh, wow. The <laughs> Maybe the best mid card I've ever seen in my life. Hello to you. To you, too. Yeah, we need to come in more often. <laughs> Koi! <laughs> oh! Uh, that went downhill quickly. Well, it was nice for a second. Uh, you don't have to, though. Don't don't feel pressured to. Oh God, no! Oh, this is not what I wanted at all. Why would you do this to me, Show? That's not cool. Uh, maybe the other ones will be better. Uh, I guess the Lamy aren't picky.
Uh, well, do you want to take a bite? Uh, that's not quite what I wanted, so hopefully we get some better ones. <laughs> yeah, that's not, that's not what I asked for. Ugh, Crim's disappointment just keeps going up, doesn't it? The only thing going up right now. Uh, I thought I'm trying to feel like it's not going to get better. Uh, hello. At least somebody's excited about that. <laughs> yeah, we don't. We're, we're we humans aren't that interested. I mean, the voice is nice. Oh, hello, Majory. <laughs> uh, thank you, show. I knew you'd send me an olive branch. <laughs> wow. Don't don't cover the best parts. Oh yes, I needed this. Thank you. Oh wow, how many are you gonna? Oh wow. I was waiting for that. Uh, well, at least I got a little bit of eye cleansing before we came back to this. That's a line. <laughs> Maybe if I close my eyes and just kind of listen to the voice, it'll, I'll get something out of it. <laughs> yeah, a little bit. Unfortunately, I do have to read the subs because my Japanese isn't that good. <laughs> yeah, you can't can't just can't just ruin it like that. <laughs> uh, some steamy eggs. <laughs> yeah, the bidding started. So, do we have any birds around here? At least, just give me one bird, please. You know, a harpy. Well, yeah, well, it's also only been reptiles, which is not really our thing. There we go. Now you are speaking my language. Get back in your seat, gentlemen. Yes, that is much preferred. <laughs> yes, we have been convinced. Okay, let's go. Oh, oh, is that a penguin? It's, it kind of looks like a penguin. Aquatic idol, Delhi. <laughs> okay. That is a penguin. That really is a penguin monster girl. Oh my god, I can't believe that's a thing. Oh god, it's so cute. I want it. Uh, how much for that one? Like, I wouldn't call it sexy exactly, but I still want it. Okay, time for the egg lane. <laughs> uh, yeah, how much for that? Whew. Yeah, this is so much better than the reptiles. <laughs> this is much better than the reptiles, dude. This is a big step up. Whew. Let's do it. <laughs> uh, you don't understand how amazing penguins are, clearly. That too, yes. Wow. She definitely seems into it. <laughs> yes, it's exactly like that. <laughs> what a what a comparison. Let's work it and get that thing out. And, uh... Not the only one to have an extra IC. Major, you do your best as well. If you ever need any help, just give me the call. <laughs> uh, 
<laughs> uh, she looks so excited and happy. So cute. <laughs> Jeez. Hopefully we clean that area once in a while. There we go. We got our third egg. I will whip out my wallet and pay any price I need for that egg. <laughs> that would have been nice, but I can accept I can accept the penguin. Def definitely No. Just no. Not even gonna look at this one. You can't make me. Ugh. Uh. <laughs> uh, yeah, that's not, you know, really not quite what I expected when I first, when I first came here. Uh, four. That's not, not best scores ever, which is understandable. I mean, technically, we didn't even get to have sex here. Uh... <laughs> yeah, these are not impressive scores. I'm sure he got a, gave it a great one, though. Because they live for that sort of thing. Whew. Yep, much better score. <laughs> Major, yes, you inspired. You inspired our next, our previous journey. It's a hard question to answer. We learned a lot. <laughs> we learned a lot. Ow. <laughs> Uh, I know, right? I mean, I would choke if I really tried that, but... <laughs> hey, what did she do with her eggs? <laughs> uh, did we really get an egg? Or is that what they were implying? <laughs> Just go cook Matry's eggs. Yeah, that really was the whole episode. Wow. <laughs> uh, okay. Definitely one of the least sexy episodes so far. Unless you're into Lizard Girls, which I'm sure a portion of the audience is. Don't get me wrong. <laughs> that look on Crim's face when they all kind of surround her and just this is the best probably my favorite Crim face overall <laughs> although I got to see a penguin girl lay an egg so I overall I'm satisfied penguins are literally my favorite animals so Oof. The birdmaids probably are one of the sexiest monster girls in the show. I would say. Although the salamander girl was pretty good too. Pretty hot. So what do we get here? Oh yeah, the special room. I always forget about it intentionally. What are we doing? Who's on the popularity poll? Yeah, we got our whole gang here, it seems like. Salamander, top quality. I don't know why she's that low.
Okay. Milk. Kind of surprised she's not higher considering, you know, our reviewers. I have missed you, Salamander. I have missed you so much. <laughs> yeah, I guess so. Okay. Very fitting. <laughs> yeah, some people didn't like the tentacles. <laughs> yeah, that's a good question. I mean, I would have put you at the bottom, but that's just me. Maybe they were afraid you would literally murder them with those things. Yeah, let's, let's move on. We don't need to hear from the peanut gallery just yet. Okay. Boots and are always great. Okay. <laughs> uh, she is upset. <laughs> Yes, I can see some of that personality. Wow, what a bunch of babies. <laughs> All this criticism. Wow, really? Well, Cyclops, you know, they're, they're pretty cute, so... Yeah, best three. Those are the ones that matter. <laughs> yes, I can definitely understand that one. Cat Girl should always be top three. It goes without question. Without question. Like the first episode too, wasn't it? Prim getting to lose his... Have his, have his first experience with a cat girl. It doesn't get much better than that. <laughs> uh, tiny, small eyes are cute. Don't be mean. No bully. Right, Elf, of course, be pretty high ranked as well, as long as you're okay with the old mana, which humans are. <laughs> I knew somebody would say that. Yeah, who did? Okay, so yeah, that's why Elves are so high. Makes sense, definitely. <laughs> humans. Humans are the best. <coughs> Well, humans are what matters, so. Uh, you feel a little bit bad, though. So, what would number one be? Uh, hopefully it's not. Because it wouldn't make sense if there was a human pool. Oh. Okay. I, I mean, yeah, I... I can get behind that. Fairies, if you're small enough, would be the best. <laughs> That's good to know. That wouldn't make sense, though, if it was a human pole. And if it was an elf pole, maybe that'd be... maybe that'd work. If you say so. <sighs> well, that was that. <laughs> So you could go role play and just holy lance, great plants and holes, the succubus tower lasts forever, but you Wait, what's that sentence? This the psych like, it you know what, I'll not worry about it. Anyway, that was the uh, seventh episode of Ishizoku Reviewers. And this episode, eggs. You know, that was really the theme of the episode. Because yeah, apparently our bird girls, they once in a while lay eggs, which, like I said, Monster Musume had a bit like that with Poppy, which was amazing. I, I would never forget that bit as long as I live. So, 
getting to see that little bit, little bit right here was great, especially Majri there, where she's just like flopping on the bed and grasping at the sheet and stuff like that was just 10 out of 10. I could have watched that stuff all day for sure. Basically inspired us to go check this out in like a actual establishment that specializes in, specializes in its sort of environment, which of course, you know, STEM, not STEM, uh, Zell, that was his name, not even close. Zell, he knew somebody that kind of, you know, that knew this sort of thing, which was a Lamia, because, yeah, Lamia liked to eat eggs, I, I guess. So, we went there. The person that, introduced that uh, you know, the introduction, she was a bit weird, like, eyes wide open constantly, just the head movements that is not, that would not even be possible for a Shaft character. It was some pretty terrifying stuff. I did love that one little shot, like imagination shot, I guess it is, of a bird girl just kind of sitting in her nest, you know, legs crossed, arms behind her head, at like uh, 4 minutes 28 seconds. You know, I quite like that. Unfortunately, I don't think we ever saw that that girl lay an egg, which would have been great, but oh well. Yeah, overall I'd say the egg laying thing was a disappointment, which was, of course, the joke. However, I did love the argument between Stunk and... Uh, Cram about ethical, the ethics of eating an egg, you know, after it's been laid by a bird girl. And then, you know, you know how that conversation went. So, yeah, that was fun. I quite enjoyed that. The audience were full of Lamia, and we also had a lot of mermen. They apparently seem to be the target demographic for such things. And whenever an event like this in the show sort of has a very specific target demographic, it usually means that our main characters aren't going to be super into it, you know, because it's like very specialized fetish type stuff. But yeah, people that like it definitely like it a lot. That's for sure. Just a very interesting concept, you know? You just like, you can come in, you can stay as long as you like. We can't guarantee an egg will be laid while you're here because it's a very natural biological thing. So, but you can stay in, until you're satisfied, you know? So, yeah, pretty cool, pretty cool idea, really. And us customers like chefs and stuff showing up because probably pretty rare eggs here. So it's this guy just stroking this giant fork in the audience. It's not a euphemism for anything, by the way. So, yeah, could you imagine making an omelet with a bird girl egg? You know, I would, I don't know if I have a pan big enough for that, but I'd, I'd buy one. So, yeah, it seems like a pretty good deal for the people that work here. They just, you know, have to go on stage, lay the egg, and just money kind of flies at them. It's not, it's not a bad gig, really. You know, if you're okay with just standing on stage, pulling down your underwear, bending over, and just letting it come out in front of people, which not a lot of people would be okay with that. But if you are, it makes a great job. So, yeah, at first, you know, I thought I saw a pretty pretty attractive girl up, up in the air there. But, you know, a few seconds later, it was just big old lizard girl. Which, you know, that doesn't do much for me. It just it just doesn't. So, at that point, the disappointment was pretty pretty rough. And then we saw sounded like an alligator girl, which wasn't any better. I mean, it was kind of better because of the voice, but aside from that, it wasn't much better. Just the guy's like, yay, lots of reptilian girls today, and then Stunk and Zell and them was like, no, that's not... We did not show your enthusiasm for this development, no. Not at all. But Lamia, of course, they wouldn't have an issue with that because they're reptiles as well, I, I think. I'm gonna... I'll be honest, I'm not an expert on Lamia biology. But at least we got to see a little bit of transitioning back over to Maid Maidry. That's something, at least. Because, yeah, there were no disappointments there. Everything we saw of her was very enjoyable. You know, if only we could see all of it, but, you know, we had at least one little bit of censorship there. You know, 18, hands blocking, stuff like that. But just, just how it goes. It was good, though. At least we got to see the egg drop out being all goopy. It's very nice stuff there. It's amazing how the same act can be perceived very differently depending on who's doing it. Because when she does it, it's great. Yeah, especially when her back was kind of like just popping a little bit there near the end. Like like a pulse, kind of. I don't know how you describe it, but it was it was great, you know? Until we transitioned back to, back to the alligator girl. Then it, then it went back downhill. <laughs> the one customer getting a little bit too handsy got to be driven away. <laughs> yeah, we were about to leave. <laughs> However, we were kind of begging it back because... Somebody mentioned Deli the Birdmaid, <laughs> and when they think Birdmaid, they think people like Maitri, so. However, after they came back, it wasn't quite what they expected, I don't think, because it was like a penguin. Penguin girl. 
you know, and I'm I'm okay with that, you know, because I thought the thing was adorable. Like it's it's a penguin, it's a penguin girl. Like she seems so happy and excited to be doing it. Like I I enjoy that at least. The only one I actually got enjoyment out of out of this establishment. So I wouldn't call her sexy exactly, but it was she was cute, it was adorable, it was still fun, you know. I, I enjoyed the experience, I would say. Although it probably is partially because my standards were lowered so much by the previous reptiles and stuff that I wasn't that picky at that point. So, yeah. I think I've said as much as I can say about that without repeating myself even more, so let's let's move on. But man, it just yeah, there's some good stuff there. And three eggs, man. She did three eggs. And then we got the frog, which I yeah, I could have went without that for sure. Did not need that. Really did not need that. As far as reviews go, they weren't great, you know. The Lamia that went with us, of course, enjoyed himself because he's a freaking Lamia. Of course he did. You know, Majory wasn't a big fan of where we went, you know. Majory, as always, is just so violent, you know. He did, they didn't even do anything wrong this time, but she's still hitting them. So, as a result, it's really hard to have any sympathy for Majory when, when they do kind of screw her over because she's just so prone to violence over, sometimes over nothing, you know. So, that's why I didn't feel too bad for her during the whole Golem shenanigans thing. Uh. So yeah, we played the ED pretty early, actually. There was still plenty of left, which I wasn't ready for. But yeah, popularity ranking. Which I, I really don't have too much complaints about the actual popularity ranking. I would put the Salamander higher, for sure. Like, that's probably my biggest complaint. You know, I would probably put Hyena a bit higher as well. And uh, I would definitely put the, the Minotaur at the bottom, that's for sure. But overall, I'd say the rankings were surprisingly in line with what I would believe, you know? Like, I'd have to, have, I'd have to really sit down and think about it to really get a full-on top 10 ranking, but... Yeah, really not, really not that far off, considering. So, you know, probably put the cat girl at the top, but... But, you know, prey winning was definitely a surprise. And how much tomorrow to say on it than that? That was a fun little bit at the end there. But yeah, these titles at the end. It was Suck You Girl Roleplay Will Get You Going All Night, which is very straightforward. The Angel's Holy Lance is great at lancing holes. That title there has me curious exactly where we're getting ourselves into. But uh, I guess we'll find out. The Succubus Tower lasts forever, but you... Okay, that's why I was confused. I didn't realize that line continued. And your mayo won't. Okay. Because I thought that sentence, sentence really did end at the U. That wouldn't have made any sense. So, yeah, the Succubus Tower. So I assume that's the name of an establishment, I, I'm i guessing. Or, I mean, a tower could refer to a few different things on this show. But I don't know. But you and your mayo won't last forever, which is probably true. But I'm sure you want to give it a try. Anyway, you know, it was uh, it was an episode, certainly not one of the better episodes because we had to watch reptiles lay eggs, which was not all that exciting. But, you know, any episode of the show is at least has a certain amount of enjoyability to it. And I certainly did enjoy my time with it overall, I would say. And I'm looking forward to seeing what we get with the next episode. So until then. Thank you for watching. And a special thanks to Snokey and Ryan for supporting the channel. If you enjoyed this video, I hope you consider clicking the like button and leaving a comment, because that's a great and easy way to let me know that people want more. If you want to do something big to help the channel, you can support me on Patreon and get nice benefits like early access to certain videos. See you next time.